how I am going to be in a documentary starring Hollywood A-listers Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney. This is crazy. Before we get started into the video, I just want to say for any new people watching this from all around the world, please go down there and subscribe. We are the best Wrexham FC YouTube channel, bringing you match day vlogs, the latest news and overall Wrexham FC content. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. It's a long way off. If you could help us hit it, then please go down there, subscribe with the notification bell turned on. And I hope to see us hit 5k. I think we're like three off by the time I'm recording this. So yeah, that's the next milestone. And then we're going on to 10k. But I'm going to be talking to you first how this opportunity came about for me to be a part of the new Welcome to Wrexham documentary that is being streamed live now on Disney+. Plus. You can watch it, anyone in the UK, anyone in the US as well. I'm sure there's going to be millions of people watching it. And we're going to be talking about how I from making videos in my bedroom, have now had the chance to be on this documentary. So it all started off a few months ago when I did get an email from the film crew asking if they could use one of my videos, which at the time it was my reaction to Rob and Ryan buying the football club. Obviously, what am I going to say? I'm going to say yes, of course, for a chance to be in the documentary. I'm not just going to reply and say no. Um, but yeah, obviously they asked us if they could use it, the email saying if it was okay. And obviously there's a lot more to this, but I think it's information that I don't think I should really say live on a video. And so I'm going to keep that private. And it was only until half past 12 last night when I did get the email through back from the film crew saying that my video that I made in my kitchen two years ago has made the final cut for the Welcome to Wrexham documentary. It is just mind blowing to me and it just doesn't make sense. Although it is a video of me running back home off the school bus after school in my school uniform, I quickly whip my Wrexham scarf around my neck. This is just going to be an absolutely crazy experience and I'm hoping, well, I'm hoping to see my face on the screen when we do watch them. Like I never thought this opportunity would have been made possible a few years ago in lockdown when I was talking about just general football not really knowing what's going to happen with YouTube and stuff but now to see the Wrexham documentary come together and the fact that I'm hopefully going to be a part of it is just mind-blowing and I do have to say I'm very 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 grateful for the people that did contact me and say that I am going to be part of the documentary it's a crazy experience obviously of course I'm never gonna forget like it's a once in a lifetime opportunity and I can only thank them for that and last night you know I was just scrolling through Instagram and I saw the new trailer that had been released the night before the documentary came out I gave it a watch and crazily I saw my face on the trailer how is I just don't understand how this is happening now it's crazy to think I'm going to be in a, the same documentary that Ryan Reynolds, Rob McElhenney are going to be starring in. Like, I've said it a million times. It is mind-blowing to me. Yeah, I just cannot wrap my head around it. I think that's what makes the whole video the fact that, you know, I'm in my school uniform. I just ran off the bus. I'm bright red. I've just ran. And I think that just shows, you know, the passion that us as fans have for the football club and the excitement that Rob and Ryan brought when they did announce they were going to buy the club. So yeah, look out for me on the Welcome to Wrexham documentary. I'm not sure which episode I am going to be on yet, but I'm sure I don't have to say if you see it, enjoy me in my school uniform. Now we are going to be talking about the first two episodes that I did watch this morning and I can say they are truly incredible. Just wanted to start off saying I think the first two episodes really does represent Wrexham as a working class town and I'm glad that Rob and Ryan both understood just the whole history of Wrexham and what it means for them to take over the football club. What I also found interesting as well that they had already planned Dean Keats' future months before the season had even ended which I think is it's interesting because I don't think you see many clubs doing this but obviously it was Fairly simple, straightforward, it, no playoffs equals the sack or playoffs equals a potential future at the club. I have also got to say as well, think what you want of Dean Keats, but it was clear when he was in the job, he understood the passion of the football club. Obviously being a former player, he knows what it means to the fans to go that one step further and get 
back into the EFL and you can tell that he really desperately wanted to take us up and unfortunately it did end how it was but one thing about Keats you cannot discredit his passion for the football club although it didn't really seem it in his interviews and stuff seeing him in the changing room you know after the Dagenham game you could see how upset he was and I think he sort of knew at the time that he wasn't going to be in the job for much longer. And it also showcases how the club have struggled over the past few years and how much it was of a shock to the Wrexham fans when we did hear that Rob and Ryan weren't interested in taking over the football club. And we're all asking the same question, why Wrexham? It was good as well that Rob McElhenney understood how much it does mean to the fans and how he can sort of relate football to NFL with him watching the Philadelphia Eagles and the passion that the fans bring and how he feels the same about Wrexham. One last thing as well, Paul Rutherford is a legend. Obviously, it's a real shame how his Wrexham career did end and obviously what happened at Dagenham and Redbridge on the final day, but I'm sure he'll definitely become a fan's favourite after you've watched the first two episodes. Rob and Ryan also play a huge role in this with obviously their effortless humour in it just to make us laugh with different things. And I think it just shows how much they care about taking Wrexham to the next level and how much they care about the fans and the future of the club. I'm not going to ruin it anymore. I'll let you watch the first two episodes. And yeah, let me know what you think in the comments if you have already watched it. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.